Very Nikola Tesla-esque, yeah. I must <laughs> That's say. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've sort of done I about like this. that it's in a vacuum. It's Anything technical. Vacuum it's technical. Me, let me talk to you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fact that it's spinning, there's no friction, it's in a vacuum. When you want to tap back into that excess energy, you re-engage a clutch or some sort of system and backfeed it. And this is, the, this is it here, right? This is a, looks like a life-size model, but not a real one. Yeah, no, no, it's not spinning. So that wouldn't really work in real life. That's impressive, man. Self-consumption, is my system working? Is it overperforming, underperforming? I just learned that if you go with SunGrow with their built-in Wi-Fi dongle, yeah, it's got the actual analytics unit in it, so you can save some costs there. Um, I know personally, I've got friends that I've pointed toward this you product. you got friends? Two. <laughs> You're one of them, right? That's it. Um, look, knowing when that power curve is there, when to use your appliances, there's no other way to do it. There's other ways to do it, but it's very expensive. This And it's um, product agnostic. You can use it on any inverter. I missed half of that, Sean. What I'm did you get? Impressed. No, honestly, like, it's, uh, like, you know, I was talking to you the other day about this, right? In fact, I think it was Lena was saying, we need to have use text messages for all of our business, right? People want to use text, right? Well, we've sort of been half doing it. Half the time when someone wants to contact you, what do they do? They text you. Well, right? I met you today via text to, to get here. And then we had a meeting yesterday via texting, you know. I prefer not <laughs> to see you face to face, to be honest. It's just texting, so. We can photo text. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, like, like what the guy was saying, you know? Um, you go to the website, you know, they got like the web chat function, yeah. right? Except rather than have to have the little chat box open in the computer, walk away, go grab a coffee, uh, do the thing, and someone, no, no, just go straight to your phone, you text. It's done. That's brilliant. It's actually extremely efficient, I like it. So, fill us in. Um, <laughs> we're, we've been doing lots of things, so we started about 12 months ago, and we've just been blown away by how many people want to support what we're doing. So Australian Women in Solar Energy, there's six founding members, and we're really here to um, give females a, a voice in the industry because it's such an amazing industry to be involved in um, within solar and helping people realise that you know you, you, there are all these opportunities and you can kind of make a career in whatever that area that you want to, whether it's installing, admin, sales, marketing, there's so many opportunities. I think we got to see last night at the your launch event. Yes. Um, there was a lot of mention of uh, business owners, installers, electricians, engineers. You know, all things that I'm going to show my daughter. To, I'll give a bit of a link and have a look, cause get her to aim up. Absolutely, and, and we're looking at supporting lots of programs too to bring more females at that entry level. So supporting apprentices that come on board and, and really getting into schools and, and showing young girls in particular that there are those opportunities. Uh, I know I've got a 16 year old daughter myself and she's like, hey, have you thought about doing this? Because it's not a career option that's put on the table for them. No. So true, eh? That's yeah. awesome. It's just, yeah. It just doesn't come into consideration. You don't hear it spoken about. No, not at all. I mean, I do at home because, you know, it's she's true. my daughter and I want to know, you know, and yeah. I say, look at this, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just making them aware that, hey, it might not be what you decide to do, but it's there. and. And um, whether it's being an installer or getting involved in renewables in, a, in other, another way. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Really appreciate awesome. it. I'm Thank happy you. for you guys. That's impressive, honestly. Like, remember, I don't know if you remember the old uh, PVC design, but uh, this uh, thing actually blows it out. Like, oh, well, oh. I didn't want to mention PVC <laughs> in front of them because honestly, it's, it's clean, it's neat, it looks like it works. I mean, the amount of work that's got, look, just looking at this. A right, decade, a decade of their own data, testing, you know, battery technology numbers, D ratings, that peak lopping, which I keep going on about, but also knowing when to use power or dial in, in uh, battery energy. What is peak lopping again? Well, basically, some people do get charged, uh, there's time of use. And then some people get charged if they go over a certain amount. They, they choose to be on a deal, but if they go over a certain amount for that, sometimes a half hour increment, they get charged at that rate for the whole month. So having batteries in the background, waiting okay. for that to happen, batteries come in, the, the, the network doesn't see that peak because it yeah. didn't happen, and you stay on the, on the, right, on the right path. 
Yes. A massive savings too. Obviously. It's a sort of like a big, you know. I mean, you do that for one or two months. You paid off the software, basically. Well, and, and batteries and equipment. Like, I mean, you look at the return on investment on a battery. Yeah. You, you could get it just from say three uh, lopping events because you would have charged the whole month for that. So a five year might become a four year payback for a battery. I didn't even know that. Oh, that's interesting. Good stuff. Ask me more next time. I'll tell you. The thing I like about it is that um, basically you're using like the water as a battery, right? Is that what we're dealing with here? Yeah, you are. Well, you're diverting yeah, the power to heat the water. You've got the water becomes. You we know. saw that kinetic thing spinning earlier, so it's a way yeah. of you've got excess energy. Don't give it back to the grid. You could put it into that spinning thing. This is one level smarter though. So you got the green catch, which that one goes to the hot water. So okay. all your excess energy before it goes, if your house doesn't need it. They'll heat up the uh, water, which you're going to have to pay for anyway. So yeah, let's exactly. heat your water up. Then if there's excess, usually you'll get rid of it. Then I've got that new, the solar relay. Yeah. Then you, now you can actually start dialing in and say, you know what, hot water, oven, welder, swimming pool. You're just giving it a protocol. There you go. That's what you're doing. So what's the relay doing? It's basically just diverting it into different locations? Or... Yeah, it was the, both relays. That one's just for hot water, the green thing, yeah. the green catch. Uh, this one's actually, you're starting to dial in, you can get multiples of these and just start getting little CTs that go around the conductors and say, okay, that's doing nothing, give some to the hot water, give some to the well, they pool. Get, so the, the clamps, right? They go around Just little the... clamps and it's the brain and then you just tell the brain, say, okay, when I've got too much, I want to do this hot water, but if the hot water's done, then I want you to do the next second, the second most important thing, I want to do that, then this, then that. Then when all those things are exhausted, give it back to the grid. That's the Smart Energy Expo 2021. Done, dusted, wrap it up. I had fun. <laughs> I learned a lot and uh, looking forward to the next one. Please guys remember to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Thank you.